to how are you today i hope you had a lovely half term the weather was amazing wasn't it and funny enough we're going to see some more amazing weather in our new topic for the last of the summer term so today it's monday the first of june 2020 and mrs lang is ready for our new topic hmm i wonder what it could be i have Sorry, hat. And I have the camera at the ready. I've lost my binoculars. I'm going to give you another clue what you think our topic might actually be today. Do you think what our topic might be today? Or for the rest of the time, should I say? Wow, what amazing animals Mrs. Lang can see. I've got my camera at the ready and I'm taking photographs of them. Wow, look at the velvet monkeys. Amazing. I wonder where I could see all these amazing animals. In, in fact, that's not much of a clue because the actual planes that this is on does go across two countries. And in fact, we're going to be looking at one of those countries for our next topic. Think about it. Where can you see such diverse animals? Diverse means different. The place we're going to be looking at has its own ecosystem and it's amazing. And it's very popular for going to see such animals. Are you there yet? Do you know what our topic will be? I'm going to finish the video here. You can watch this. I will put it on a link so you can actually store it later. So let's stop the video here. Well, let me see if I can find... There we are. I'm going to stop the video here. Have you guessed? Have you guessed where we could be? So, the clues, I've got a safari hat, I've got my camera at the ready, lost my binoculars, always have my water. So our topic this term is going to be Kenya. Wow. So we are going to look and learn all about Kenya. We're going to have a look at the climate, we're going to have a look at the population, we're going to have a look at animals. And we're going to write an amazing fact file of everything we know. So we're quite lucky, actually, because we are going to look at the life of a child as well in Kenya and what it's like to grow up as a child in Kenya. And do you know, we have our own special guest, actually, that you can think about questions you can ask. Because you can ask Mrs. Sharp because she grew up in Kenya. So she knows lots and lots and lots about Kenya. And she can tell you what it's like in her own experience. So it is slightly different. You will not have me as as in the videos. So what you will what we will see is Mrs. Lang is going to send you some links and I'm going to send you some files. And this is going to be self-generated. So I'll show you what I mean. I've got a little bob my head here. There we are. Let's minimise that and I'll take you to where I want you to go. So, right, our, to our topic is Kenya. This is like put your false teeth in. And I will be sending you out lessons in files. So, other than this video, you won't be getting videos sent out from me because Mrs. Lang is going back to work, well, going back to school next week. 
this is work, but so I'm going back to school next week. So I will be watching and looking at your work. So don't forget to do it. So each week I will send you the lesson one. So for instance, the first week of this video, you will be getting a lesson one introduction. So you'll have a box like this. If you click onto the file, there we are. You have lots of different activities and information. So we are going to be looking at Kenya and I would like you at the very end of the topic to be able to present to me your own fact file, which I will then put on a video and we can display and everyone can see your fact files. So make sure that you put your best effort in, take a picture, take a video, send them to me and then I can show them for everyone. Now, as I said, I'm going to send you these lessons it will be as a, a Kenyan topic. I might have to zip them up for parents. I might have to show you how to unzip them as well. If you need any help with that, please contact the Year 2 team and they will be glad to help you with that. So for our first lesson, it's going to be the introduction. So let's have a look what we have, what files we have there. So I'm going to first show you a bit about the UK fact file. OK, so these are UK facts. So this tells you lots of information about the UK. Now, this will be good because it shows you really what I would like in your Kenyan file. But also, if you want to compare. So there might be questions during the topic that asks you about your own life or asks you about the UK. So you can compare and really understand what it is like for people in Kenya. OK, so this is a glimpse of the UK. As you can see, Mrs. Lang has got the UK facts. I've got a little bit about the geography. I've got the mountains there, which I'd like you to see. Then I have different facts here and the capital, which I know you know is London because we all live there. There has some different facts there. You will be sent this so you can read this at your leisure. Um, there are 63 million or such in the UK. So that gives you an idea of the population. You remember population just means how many people there are. And we'll be looking at urban and country. Remember urban, that means the city. So we'll be looking at all this information. Mrs. Lang has got a few facts here because I like the fact that the UK time is the Greenwich Mead time. And if you go to the Greenwich, if you can do it at all, when everything's back to normal, perhaps we could actually look at where the daytime is and have a look at the zero line, which is where we all get our times from. So that's brilliant. There are other facts about the UK. I've looked at transport, the different transport routes, and also about the economy. The economy, what does the economy mean? The economy just means how people earn their money and how rich the country is. OK, so you will need help with an adult for this. So they will help you with the economy. You don't have to go into too much detail about the economy, but perhaps just list the jobs that are there in Kenya. OK, so all this information will be provided for you. Mrs. Lang has also got questions that she would like answered. So I have different questions like what might the expensive, most expensive office be in London or in England? Do we actually win any Nobel Prizes? Do people go to the cinema? Do they receive lots of guests? And I've put the answers here for you. So the most expensive office rents in the world are in Mayfair in London. So it's a very expensive place to live, London. And we are the second largest recipients, which means the most number of people that have actually received the Nobel Prize. So maybe one day you guys could receive the Nobel Prize. That would be amazing. We also spend the third largest tourism spend. So that is the UK facts. I will send this to you so that you can have a look at the information there. Let's close this one down. 
Okay, so I do have information on Kenya. So I have Kenyan facts that here about the animals. Let's go back. So there is a Kenyan doc there. You can look at this to get your information if you really can't get your information anywhere else. But you can also look at the web links. There are web links on the different pages that you can look at. So in our first introduction, if you have a look at these red files there, the PDF, you will notice I have an atlas file. So we are going to be looking at where Kenya is. So I have given you an atlas and I want you to fill in this atlas here. OK, so there is information here, the countries around Kenya, the towns in Kenya. We've got Nairobi there and Mombasa. So you'll have to have a look on the map, on a globe and fill that information in. If you find it tricky or don't have a map, if you go back to the Kenyan information fact file, you'll find help there. Okay, let's minimise that. Right, there is another activity, it's the grid reference. Okay, so these are some of the animals you might find in Kenya. And I would like you to do the grid activity there. Okay, so the yes or no questions there, so you can fill those in. Right, if you've forgotten how to reference a grid, I've given you an example of the grid here. So, for instance, we have the lighthouse here. It does give you the grid reference. So remember, along the corridor and up the stairs. Along the corridor and up the stairs. So if we look at lighthouse, it says five and seven. So we go along five, one, two, three, four, five, and then we go up seven. So one, two, three, four, five and seven and we can see it's the last one if you have a look that's seven and that's five so that's just to give you a little helping hint about how to use the grid references okay that will help you with the activity let's move on okay so the two activities for your introduction lesson one will be the atlas and the grid reference this will help you throughout our year two. We've been looking at geography and this will just sort of bring all that information, all the learning, all that hard learning you've done this year together. Let's have a look what we can see in lesson two. So lesson two is about flags. And Mrs. Lang has given you information on UK flags there. OK, let's have a look through the information on the UK flags. So I've given you not just the flag. We can see the flag there. I've given you why the flag has come about. Sometimes they have colours that symbolise things. So if we look at the Union Jack flag, it says here that the flag of the UK is officially called the Union flag, not the Union Jack. It became the official flag of the UK in 1801 when King George III made a royal proclamation. He made a statement. It combines the flags of England, Scotland and Ireland to make the one flag to represent the UK. Here you'll find facts and images. Oh, I've, I've got colouring sheets, but that'll be on the PDF. So if you have a look at the flag there, it gives you the dimensions. And I've also given you all the information about the different flags of what contributes to make the United Kingdom. Remember, when we're thinking about the United Kingdom, we're thinking about Northern Ireland, we're thinking about Scotland, we're thinking about Wales, and we're thinking about England. The United Kingdom are all those countries put together. OK, let's come out of there. Right, let's go. So I have given you an activity there. It's a nice activity. If you have a look, you've got the Kenyan flags there. There we are. And here's some information about your Kenyan flag. And you have an opportunity to 
draw and colour in your own flag. So that's a really nice activity for you. And you can also, if you if you're in a colouring mood, I've got the Union Jack flag here. And if you're really feeling confident, maybe you'll write about how they're different and maybe how they're the same. Okay, let's have a look at lesson three. So lesson three is about climate. If you forget anything about climate, remember, look into the year two video files. There's lots of information about climate. So if we have a look at climate, it's just an activity there. As I said, refer back to the videos, go onto the website, go to year two and go for the science. So here it's slightly mathematical. So you may need help from an adult. So we have geography skills, very much like mathematical skills. So you have the temperature of Nairobi there. If you have a look, we've got our key that we always need. The key tells us that the red line is our temperature. There we are. And the blue tells us how much, in millimetres, how much rain they get. So if you have a look in April, wow, that's a lot of rain. There's also a comparison with England. And we thought we got a lot of rain. If you have a look at the April in England, and then you had a look at the April in Kenya, and also in November, you can see how much more rain they get. But if you have a look at the temperatures, the temperature tends to be 250. We tend to have a very big curve there. So our temperature changes throughout our seasons. There are questions there. And I will ask you the questions and hopefully with an adult, you can fill those in. OK, so that's climate and that's our lesson three. Let's go back to our topics. Our next topic is on animals. So as you can see from the beginning of this video, Mrs. Lang showed you the Serengeti Plains and they actually cover Tanzania and Kenya. But lots of people go and visit Kenya just to see the amazing animals. So Mrs. Lang has got you an animal doc there. So I want you to answer some of these questions and I want you to write about the animal. OK, let's have a look. What questions has Mrs. Lang asked you? So if we have a look at that, we've got the animals here. So our success criteria is I can support list five the five most popular animals. I can suggest some different animals to those in the UK and I can draw and write about an animal and suggest why it's suited to that environment. Remember the temperature. Remember in Kenya they have their own ecosystem there. Remember if we have a look go back to the videos we did it all about habitat so think about the habitats. Refer back this topic, as I said, it's about bringing all your learning together and you'll get, at the end of it, we're going to have a lovely display of Kenya. So you'll be answering those questions. I have given you lots of pictures there and clues that you can pick an animal from. And there is also the website here that I use and that will take you through to the website here. Lang says. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, here's the website here, and that will tell you all about the Kenyan animals. In fact, this website is amazing, and I got a lot of my information from there. So if you get stuck, have a look at the website. Remember, there are lots of um, websites out there, but make sure you're very careful and you're safe when you're online. The great thing about this website is if you click on an animal, it gives you all the amazing facts. OK, so for here, we've got the lion. So lioness do most of the hunting for the pride. They are they are the better hunters. Hmm, I should agree in that. OK, let's minimise that now. So that's our animals for lesson four. So if we go back to our Kenyan topics, we're going to go to lesson five. So this is what it's like to grow up in Kenya. So I have got activities there for you to have a look at as well. And I've got two links to videos which you can have a look at. 
So um, our success criteria is I can answer some questions with support. I can answer what is different and what is the same for children in Kenya and my own country. I can think of questions to ask Mrs. Shah to help me understand more about children and their lives in Kenya. So remember, Mrs. Shah, she grew up there. So if you want a real first-hand experience of what it's like, think about those questions. Write the questions down to year two, and Mrs. Shah will pick them up for you. Okay, so I have some videos here, and that will tell you about two girls and their lives in rural Kenya. Remember, that's the countryside, and also urban Kenya, which is the city where we live. So it's very, very, very similar, actually. So tell me what you think about that. And we have some questions there that you can answer. Okay, let's go back to our Kenyan topic. So we are going to go to lesson six. So this is where we start putting all the information that we've been doing and we start putting it together. So I have the Kenyan doc there. I also have the UK doc there. These will help you, as I said, with any information that you can find that they will be there. If you have a look at the fact file here, if you're finding that you're not feeling very confident about Kenya or how to put your file together, this will show you what I want from you. So if you're not very confident, just fill those in. If you're feeling really confident about Kenya and you've got lots more information, please put it on a board, put it on paper, in a book, and take pictures of it or take a video of yourself presenting it and I will show your videos. Okay, so let's put you down here. Right, let's make me bigger. So I'm sorry that I can't run you through these videos in any more detail. I hope the files will help you and support you through this topic. I know all the work that I've seen that you are great and I know that you can do this and I am so looking forward to seeing the end results. If you have any questions, make sure that you come and ask you too. Okay, so for now and for humanities, it's a goodbye for Mrs. Lang, but I hope to see you very soon with all those brilliant brilliant fact files that you're going to make me and I can show them in a great big spectacular humanities party at the end of the summer term. So good luck. Again, any questions, please write to year two. I know you know the drill by now. Have a really good week and I'll see you soon. Bye.